But on top of that, we had a couple of other problems. So we had a very serious, horrible, life-threatening mental illness. We also had drug abuse and problems, and we had domestic violence. So not an easy problem to solve. And at some point, you and this boyfriend would occasionally say, Dr. Palmer, you've got to do something. You've got to do something. And at some point, I kind of said, keto diet or nothing. It's like it, 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 you have to do the ketogenic diet. It was you like the to. last resort. It was, it was literally the only thing that we had not tried. So walk me through what it was like to start the diet. When you were so ill, you're in an abusive relationship, oh, yes. you're still using drugs, you're we were psychotic, homeless at one point. you're catatonic. How in the hell did you start this diet? <sighs> so <laughs> this, started... People can't lose weight doing this diet because it's such a hard diet to do, right? And it's unsustainable, we all know that, or we've all heard that. But here you are, extraordinarily impaired, extraordinarily ill. So tell everybody, how did you do it? So it starts with fasting. And then it starts with heavy cream and bone broth for the keto flu. Um, you want to replace one meal a day with heavy cream or something that's entirely fat-based. Get a salad in there with some protein. Um, I like to do, um, you start off with about 35 grams of carbs a day. So count your carbs. Have a list of foods that you know you can go to. Have those ready, like walnuts, macadamia nuts. Um, you can have uh, dark berries, uh, greens. Um, and so have your list of go-to foods. And it, it started just day by day, like one chug of heavy cream at a time. And I remember a couple times getting a little bit dehydrated, so I needed electrolytes. But even if you fall off, you know, fast again, get back on the diet. It, it just takes, it takes willpower, but it's willpower that will serve you well. So you were able to do that in an extraordinarily impaired state. And that is just, I just want to drill that point home again. Because yeah. so many doctors and other people I talk to say, how do you get patients? Anyone dying? can do it. Anyone um, can do it. But Tell me, how long was it before you started noticing improvement in symptoms? I'd say it was about two weeks before I snapped out of the catatonia and about three months before the voices really started to go away. But I noticed that as long as I'm in light ketosis, I'm almost asymptomatic. And um, when I do have too many carbs, I'll notice sort of a recurrence of some of the voices coming back. But at that point, I know, okay, up the fats, cut out the carbs, get back on the diet. And it's really been that strategy that has turned the corner for me. I don't think I would be here today without it. Um, as you said, I was on maximum doses of medication, like literally couldn't have been more without poisoning me. And um, that is the treatment that worked. I mean, it wasn't the ECT, it wasn't the therapy, it wasn't the medication, it was really the keto diet that brought me back along with your health.